the Leave No One Behind agenda is absolutely central to the, um, well, what they call the LDCs. Um, because without that focus, I think the danger is of uh, the aggregate statistics looking better polished and better than uh, they might otherwise be. And it gives them a, an anchor for, with which to argue for special attention for some of the issues that are probably harder to fix in those contexts than in contexts that have infrastructure and governance mechanisms that might work better. So I think without a leave no one behind agenda, um, it's, it's, it's a very strong slogan, with more than a slogan around which people can convene and focus the discussion. So, and I, I think it gives a, a strong basis for some of the metrics that might need to be different, um, so that you're not you're not looking at those averages, but you're looking at well, what about the groups that would otherwise drop off the bottom and not be noticed? Okay, I think the, the danger for any, uh, I suppose, global North government is that they think that the problem is down there and out there and across there and not in their own backyard and. A lot of the more systemic causes of some of the problems have their origins here. Oxfam has been campaigning increasingly on the end tax havens um, issue, for example, where the, uh, writ the private sector and uh, very wealthy individuals are able to hide their wealth, which would otherwise come into the government coffers and be able to be used for, the pro for, for public services. And I think the evidence is increasingly strong that investment in public services benefits uh, those who would otherwise be left behind. Uh, so I think that there are issues of, of systemic, more systemic uh, structural causes that the UK could be working on uh, besides the UK aid agenda. The aid agenda, it's, it's very good that it's been one of the few that's maintained the 0.7%. Um, however, within the 0.7%, I'm also, uh, we are also increasingly curious and questioning about how much of that really actually goes to those uh, who are part of the Leave No One Behind agenda. Uh, there's a lot of money that is returned internally through um, the capture of uh, the grants by um, northern-based uh, consulting firms. And, and I think that there's uh, big question marks, therefore, about the flows of money. In fact, we discussed that this morning in, in, the, in, in the room about trying to track where aid money does go. Um, so I think those are, those are two big agendas that I would, um, I would focus on for sure. And I think the other part is that a leave, what, the, what the SDGs and the Leave No One Behind agenda also enables is it gives the UK an opportunity to look at its own uh, Leave No One Behind groups. Um, SDGs are quite, well, they're considered to be an opportunity for the governments of the North to be looking at their own poverty issues and inequality issues. And therefore, I think within the UK, there's an interesting challenge that, that is, what, what, are, what do we need to do differently internally to make sure that the rising inequality, which you see in the UK as well, is reduced.